All right. Elder Yun, then let me go first this time. You. From the challenges earlier, he injured Elder Wu in the first challenge, and Elder Bai almost got killed in the second challenge. But in this challenge, even if you're a celestial master teacher, there's no way that the impartation of heaven's will will be able to cause an effect on this spiritual wisdom. Alright, the content of the lecture is not limited, as long as you're able to gather spiritual essence. The duration of it staying in the air will depend on whether the content of your lecture will be able to gather spiritual essence. Alright. Alright, let's begin. Since this is a painting, let me give a lecture on this topic. Painting isn't just a depiction of reality, more importantly, one has to harness their emotions into their work before an art piece can be granted as soul. I didn't expect this master teacher Zhang to have this level of understanding on paintings. I guess he's not only well versed in cultivation and techniques, he's even comprehensively knowledgeable about paintings as well. The spiritual wisdom in paintings consumes quite the amount of spiritual essence to maintain, not even a five-star master teacher will be able to maintain it for too long. Pavilion Master Kong, how long do you think Master Teacher Kong will be able to last? How long do I think? Don't you guys even know what kind of monsters you guys brought me? Elder Bai just got fooled just now, and now you're trying to rope me into it as well. If he's lecturing about cultivation, then maybe 10, no, around 50 minutes, since Elder Yuan can only maintain for 13 minutes as well. But since he's lecturing about paintings, and it's on this level of understanding, so I expect it to last for about 20 minutes. Since Master Teacher Zhang is a celestial master teacher after all, we can't underestimate him, let's just keep our expectations high for now. Look, the spiritual wisdom is starting to shake already, I guess it's going to disappear soon. Isn't that just a little over three minutes, there's no way he's that bad, right? That's right, even without the lecture, the painting is able to last for two minutes, what is exactly going on? Judging from the situation, this guy won't be able to maintain for five minutes, he should consider himself lucky if he wasn't the last. My results on the first two challenges aren't that ideal, but I definitely can make a comeback in this challenge and take first place. That gave me quite a scare, luckily he's only giving a lecture about the basics. He didn't pull off any. Hold on. If it's going to disappear, it won't be able to maintain for this long, why is it still here? And even though the spiritual wisdom is shaking vigorously, it doesn't seem like it's going to disappear anytime soon. Something's not right. It seems like it's going to disappear, but it's actually more and more sturdy. For others, the spiritual wisdom will disperse when it starts to shake, but how did this guy make it shake even more and more rigidly? This, what is going on? No. That's not right, no way, this is, impossible. That's. Elation of unearthed disposition, enlightened spirit. Enlightened spirit. Does he mean, the seventh level of painting? When a painting has reached this level, the animals and the plants in the painting will be as if they're alive, they will have their own intelligence and they will be able to maintain their materialization for a long time after flying out of the painting. But that can't be, I know about enlightened spirit, but that's something that only a six-star painter can do. He will need to modify or redo the painting to achieve that, by doing that through lectures, how did he even manage to do that? The content in the lecture that Master Teacher Zhang is giving is extremely compatible with the spiritual wisdoms, causing them to not only gather spiritual essence, but also cultivate on their own. All of these shakes are to get rid of all of the impure spiritual essence from before, turning their energy to be even more concrete, in other words. They're ridding impurities to materialize. Ridding impurities to materialize. Paintings allow spiritual wisdom to materialize, and the painting scroll is the nest of the spiritual wisdoms, so they can still get back. If that's really the case, this lecture allows them to ascend into enlightened spirits, then wouldn't the spiritual wisdoms not return to the painting itself? If they keep on flying in the skies, and they keep it going for months and not return to the painting, then how are we supposed to evaluate this result of his? Hold on, Elder Yun, stop him immediately. Don't let him continue the lecture. I thought this is just going to be a simple challenge. But now the spiritual wisdom has flown away. What the hell, if the spiritual wisdom has flown away, why do I still need this piece of blank paper? This guy, is he here for the selection trials or to make a fool out of all of us? 
It's gone. They're all gone. My birds. My birds. Give me back my birds. Your birds. My mentor left those birds for me. We only got ourselves injured, and we can just recover after some rest. This painting was deeply treasured by Elder Yun, and he just ruined it immediately, we should consider ourselves lucky if this guy didn't just tear it apart. Turning the spiritual wisdoms into enlightened spirits with just a lecture, and they all just flew away. What the hell is this, do you have to be so desperate? Pulling a stunt like that, how are we supposed to compete against you? If you keep doing this, you won't get any friends. Calm down Elder Yun, calm down. Calm down, how am I supposed to calm down? My painting teacher gave that painting to me, and I was planning to do my research on it, hoping to ascend from a four-star painter, now that it turned out like this, how am I supposed to ascend? That's right, Pavilion Master, you're the one that said that this is just a trial, it will be very simple. I mean, I'm not done with my lecture yet, and these birds have already been chased away by you guys, how are you going to evaluate my results? You're still putting the blame on me. You're still expecting results. If it wasn't for you, my birds, can they even fly? The painting of soaring birds is gone already, and you still want me to give you your result. Isn't that because of you? Master Teacher Zhang, it would be best if you would just stop talking. The reason why the painting of soaring birds is this valuable is because of those birds, now that they're gone. That basically means the treasure is ruined. And as for Elder Yun, it's reasonable for him to be this angry. The treasure is ruined. If the scroll is still here, you can just draw the birds back onto it. I don't get what you're fussing about. That's a level 6 painting. Only a 5 star painter can do that. And it's the only one in the Myriad Kingdom City. Drawing it, that's quite easy for you to say. Pavilion Master, the painting of soaring birds has already been ruined, so the rest of us won't have a way to be evaluated. How about we change to another method to evaluate our strength? Yeah, that's true. This is the only painting that is able to summon spiritual wisdom in the entire Myriad Kingdom city. Now that it's ruined, there's absolutely no way for us to evaluate your strength. If that's really the case, then we can find students to attend our lectures and have them wear blindfolds. That way, they won't be able to recognize our voice. That will be fair as well. Be patient. Let me discuss this with the other elders. Khan, you have to make up for me, no matter what. Yes. Master Teacher Zhang, you, what are you doing? All done. Those birds are back. They're not back, it seems like. Master Teacher Zhang just drew them. Just drew. All right, Elder Yun, I drew your painting out for you already. It seems like, it's not that difficult. That's. Just from a glance, he's able to recreate the painting. Not only the patterns are the same, even the use of paint, the distribution. There's no difference to the original one, and even the artistic concept is exactly the same. Can a level 6 painting be recreated that easily? Not even a 6 star painter can do that. How is it? It's the same exact level 6 painting as before, the spiritual wisdom is still there, so we can proceed with the following challenges. If Elder Yun says that it's fine, and Master Teacher Zhang is done with his challenge, then we can proceed. Damn it! I didn't expect this guy's painting skill to be this impressive. After all this commotion, I guess I'm losing this challenge as well. Due to his depression, Jun Ruahuan took on the challenge with all that pressure. In the end, he's only managed to maintain the spiritual wisdom for slightly more than 10 minutes due to his mentality. Damn it. Alright, let me announce the final results. Master Teacher Zhang, able to summon the spiritual wisdom out through lectures, and they have yet to return until now so he gets first place. Second place will be Luashi. Third will be Ruahuan. Fu Xiaochen will be the fourth. Feng Masheng at fifth place and Du Hu at sixth. Right now, let's move on to the fourth challenge, Comprehension of Cultivation. Pavilion Master, about that, you see, Master Teacher Zhang has already gotten first place in all three challenges up until now, so his total points should be the first as well. Is it okay if we don't let him take part in my challenge later on? First place. This is just the third challenge. How is he already first place? You see, even Elder Liu is already gone as well. Aren't we still in the middle of the trials? Where is he? 
he saw that Master Teacher Zhang has been taking first place consecutively and giving such traumas to the elders. He told us that he's having a stomachache and left. Stomachache. That's. Since Master Teacher Zhang is already in first place right now. From my challenge later on. Do you think that we can? Now my stomach is getting a little unwell as well. This kid is just too abnormal. If I really were to give him the challenge, I really have no idea what kind of weird phenomenon will happen. I really don't want to lose all my life in just a trial after spending my entire life building my reputation. You guys. What do you think this trial is? Forget it. I'll deal with all of you later on. This next challenge will be the final challenge of the entire trial. Elder Liu, who was supposed to handle the fifth challenge, will not be able to conduct the challenge due to his physical conditions. So Elder Hong will be the one in charge of the last challenge. Pavilion Master, I want to withdraw from this last challenge. Withdraw. That's great. No, why is that? This selection trial is to choose two winners to attend the Master Teacher Tournament. With the results that I have now, I'm already at the first place even if I take part in the fourth challenge. So, I want to leave some opportunities to others. And I might have exhausted my true essence in the first two challenges when I'm fighting against Elder Wu and Elder Bai, so I might not be in the condition to take on the fourth challenge. Damn you, what do you mean by exhausted your true essence? The fourth challenge is about comprehension of cultivation. It has nothing to do with your physical condition. Since Master Teacher Zhang isn't feeling well, I will allow you to withdraw from the fourth challenge. You can have a good rest at the side. You. Well, if that's the case, then you can withdraw. Master Teacher Zhang is right. He has already got first place three times consecutively, so he has a total of 18 points. The one after him is Sir Ruahuan with 13 points. Even if Master Teacher Zhang withdrew from this challenge and got one point from last place, he will still have 19 points. That's right, if Sir Ruahuan gets first place in this challenge, he will only get 18 points with that 6 points, so it doesn't really matter whether he's taking this challenge. Being able to get first place without taking the last challenge, truly impressive. Without Zheng Xuan's participation, the final challenge proceeded smoothly. The results are then concluded very soon. As expected, Sir Ruahuan got first place and ended up second in the entire selection trial. Alright, that's it for the selection trial. I will now announce that Master Teacher Zhang and Jun Ruahuan will be representing the Myriad Kingdoms Alliance to take part in the Master Teacher Tournament. Pavilion Master, I have an objection. I don't deny Master Teacher Zhang's strength, but, if I recall correctly, the requirement to take part in the Master Teacher Tournament is that the participant will have to be at least 3 star or above. Master Teacher Zhang is only a 2 star. With that level of strength, I'm afraid he can't even get through the preliminary rounds. Master Teacher Zhang was able to clear the challenges with ease earlier, forget about 3 star, even if he were to apply for 4 star Master Teacher, I think there wouldn't be a problem. With Master Teacher Zhang's strength, it's not difficult for him to pass the 4 star Master Teacher exam, and we don't have to repeat the selection trials as well, but, the requirement for a 4 star Master Teacher is to have 4 secondary occupations at 4 star, about that, I don't think it will be that easy. That's true. Secondary occupations are like master teachers, they will need time to accumulate experience and knowledge. Pavilion Master I forgot to ask about Master Teacher Zhang's secondary occupations before the selection trials. Master Teacher Zhang is definitely at least a 4 star in painting, maybe even higher. For this one, Elder Yun can just head to the Painter Guild to apply for him, it's quite simple. But that's just one of them. Even if he is able to apply as a 5 star painter, it is still just one occupation. He still needs at least another two of them. Master Teacher Zhang, do you still have any other occupations that are at 3 star or higher? I. Pavilion Master, Hall Master Han from the Beast Hall and Hall Master Sai are here, requesting to meet you. Hall Master Han, Hall Master Sai, what are they doing here? Let them in. Pavilion Master Kong, long time no see. Why does Hall Master Han and Hall Master Sai have the free time to come and visit the Master Teacher Pavilion? Actually I came here to find Master Teacher Zhang. I heard from Hall Master Sai that he's here, so I came here. Master Teacher Zhang. What's the matter? Even though we know each other, we've only met each other once, 
and our relationship isn't that close as well. Here's what happened. Master teacher Zhang tamed the demon sink beast and I have reported it to the headquarters. They've decided to make an exception and promote you to a four-star beast tamer. I'm here to deliver your emblem to you. A four-star beast tamer. Master teacher Zhang is a four-star beast tamer as well. Why does all of this sound so familiar? Pavilion master. Guild leader Zheng and guild leader Meng from Honghai City's Formation Guild and Physician Guild. Requesting to enter. Quick, let them in. May I ask what the two of you are here for? To be honest, I'm here for Master Teacher Zhang. You're here for Master Teacher Zhang as well. That's right. Master Teacher Zhang, I gave you a quasi four star formation master emblem the last time we met. After you have left, I have reported this to the headquarters and they have decided to make an exception to approve you as an official four star formation master. Official, four star formation master. Here comes another occupation as well. No way. Don't freak out. I'm here as well. Master Teacher Zhang might not know who I am. I'm the guild leader of the Myriad Kingdoms Alliance's Physician Guild, Zhang Mengqi. Master Teacher Zhang solved the Wall of Dilemma back at Tianwu Kingdom, curing the muscle fatigue disease that the second princess had. Hall Master Han also told me about the incident where you healed their wounds. Such incredible medical skills. It is simply a miracle. That's why I have applied to the headquarters for you and have gotten their approval. This is your four-star physician emblem. That makes four occupations. Thank you guild leader Meng. We just said that this guy has the potential to be a phenomenal master teacher, but he doesn't have enough secondary occupations, so he won't be able to be promoted as a three-star or four-star master teacher. And Hall Master Han, guild leader Zheng and guild leader Meng just delivered his four-star emblems here straight away. Can this even be real? You don't have to give me a huge slap in the face so soon. You upper path occupations sure are troublesome. You still have to report to your headquarters and wait for the approval on his grade. Just learn from the appraisal hall. We just issued a 5-star appraiser emblem to master teacher Zhang straight away. We don't need to go through all the hassle. He's even a 5-star appraiser. The upper path occupations won't make exceptions on issuing the grades that easily. For Master Teacher Zhang to have such a treatment, he is definitely a prodigy will phenomenal talent. I thought that Master Teacher Zhang's capabilities as a Master Teacher are already quite impressive. I didn't expect that. He's the same in every other occupation as well. Pavilion Master. The other occupations have already made an exception to give him the grade that he deserved. Why can't the Master Teacher Pavilion do the same as well? Pavilion Master. The other occupations have already made an exception to give him the grade that he deserved. Why can't the master teacher pavilion do the same as well? From master teacher Zhang's performance, he definitely deserves the title. That's... That's right. Now that master teacher Zhang has five occupations that are four star and above, even if his cultivation is not there yet, I think we can still give him the title of a four star master teacher. The other occupations are willing to give way and approve his grade already. Why can't we do the same as well? All right then, I'll report to the headquarters straight away. Hold on a moment. The reason why you can't give me a four-star master teacher emblem straight despite the supporting occupations I have, is it due to my cultivation? Yeah, it is. If it's really that troublesome, I can just break through right now. It's not a big deal. We can save all the trouble. Break through right now. Even if you are in the pinnacle prolonged longevity realm of one Dan Transcendent, it's not that easy to break through into the origin energy realm. Since that realm will require the cultivator to convert all their true essence into origin energy, so that the cultivator's strength will be even more compatible with nature. Master Teacher Zhang, don't rush it, you have to be careful when you're breaking through into the origin energy realm. The better the quality of your origin energy is, the more useful it will be in your future cultivations. I would advise you to study a little more, so that you can take control of your knowledge even better first. As expected from Master Teacher Zhang. The Origin Energy Realm. Is it really that easy to break through into the Origin Energy Realm? Alright, that solves all the problems. Now that I'm already in the Origin Energy Realm, I will be qualified for it already. Alright then, Ruahuan, do you guys have any other objections? No. Master Teacher Zhang, Ruahuan, come over here for a second. Let me explain to the both of you on the details of the Master Teacher Tournament. 
I will have Master Teacher Su to welcome all our guests here. Thanks for it. Since the both of you are selected, I assume that you will know a thing or two about the Master Teacher Tournament. The Master Teacher Tournament was an event hosted by the Huanyu Empire's Master Teacher Pavilion. The content of the tournament will be different every year. The top 10 in the tournament will not only get intermediate spiritual stones as a reward, they will even get the chance to go to Hongyuan Master Teacher Academy to cultivate. Hongyuan Master Teacher Academy. Is that academy famous? Hongyuan Master Teacher Academy is established jointly by Hongyuan Empire along with the hundreds of Tier 2 Empire's Master Teacher Pavilions under them. It's a cradle for four-star Master Teachers, and its purpose is to accept and groom talented Master Teachers. Six-star Master Teachers will conduct lessons personally to answer their queries. If you get the chance to study in that place, you're basically stepping into the path of being a five-star Master Teacher. A place to cultivate Master Teachers. The Yangxian that I disguised as were mistaken as a G-star master teacher by others. To be honest, I've never met a master teacher of that caliber before, I don't even know what they look like. But even if I've never met one before, it's obvious that a person of this level will be terrifyingly strong. And to be able to receive guidance from people of this level, no matter my cultivation or strength will definitely have a drastic improvement. Previously. I was just hoping that our master teacher pavilion could get a nice placement in this tournament. But now that master teacher Zhang has joined us, I'm hoping that one of you can help me get into the top 10 for once. Top 10. That's right, but it's not that easy to get into the top 10. Even though all the other forces are here in the alliance, they have all done a great job at keeping up the confidentiality towards the participants. Even for me, I didn't even know much as well. But based on our past experience, your capabilities as a master teacher will be part of the tournament. Cultivation is also a part of them as well. If you want to get into the top 10, it's simply impossible if you're not at least a 4 Dan Transcendent. 4 Dan Transcendent. That's right, that's why I'm hoping that in the next 2 months or so, the both of you will train yourself hard enough so that your strength will improve drastically. Which is why, starting tomorrow, I'm planning to take the both of you to train at Inyang Lake. Inyang Lake. Yin-Yang Lake consists of both the Yin and Yang attribute. One side is bone-piercing chill while the other side is searing heat. If you were to cultivate it, you will be able to control the energy within your body much better, which will make the person able to master the realm easier and hasten the cultivation. Especially for people with pure Yin and pure Yang bodies, it will be extremely helpful for them. If pure Yin and pure Yang bodies are this rare, but, Zhao Ya is the former one. If she's already this impressive with her body at 20% potential, since this Inyang Lake is this effective, I wonder if she will be able to break through from it. It doesn't really matter for me, as long as I have the Heaven's Path and sufficient spiritual stones. Forget about 4 Dan Transcendent, it wouldn't be a problem for me to reach 9 Dan within a day. However, Inyang Lake is located at the south part of the Myriad Kingdoms Alliance, even with a 4-star Pinnacle Flying Beast. It will need at least more than 10 days to reach there. And if we include the cultivation process, it will take a total of 40 days there. So if everything is okay with you guys, then we can depart immediately tomorrow. We must get back here before the master teacher tournament begins. No problem. Very well then. You can go back and work on your preparations today. We'll meet here tomorrow morning. Xiaoya, come over here for a sec. Myriad Kingdoms Alliance Zhangxuan's temporary residence. I will be taking you to a place tomorrow. It will help you to further utilize your body's potential. So go and prepare for it now. Understood. This entire trip will take up more than a month. The most important thing right now is to improve my cultivation as much as possible. Let me see if I can reach Origin Energy Pinnacle Realm. The spiritual essence is still not enough. I guess I will need at least another two more intermediate spiritual stones to reach the pinnacle realm. I have to think of a way to earn money as well. Forget it, I'll head to Inyang Lake first. If what Pavilion Master Kong said was true, that place is rich in spiritual energy, and it's the perfect place for cultivation, so I might be able to break through even without spiritual stones. But before that, I will still need to get my hands on the three Dan Transcendent Heavenly Art. The Master Teacher Pavilion must have all sorts of cultivation techniques. Now that I'm a 4-star Master Teacher, I have the authority to read them now. 
There's so many books. If I were to look through all of them, I would need at least a couple days even if I were to run through them non-stop. Forget it, let's focus on cultivation techniques for now. Correct. There's three Dan, they even have four Dan cultivation techniques. By combining all these books, I didn't expect a few simple tries would have such good results. I managed to recover the three Dan and four Dan transcendent cultivation techniques for soul oracles. Which means, my soul oracle power will be able to reach four Dan transcendent if I have enough intermediate spiritual stones, surpassing my own cultivation just like before. Damn it, it's morning already. I didn't realize that I'd been up all night. Time to look for the pavilion master. Master teacher Zhang is here. Get ready to depart. Sure, give me a moment. I want to take one of my students there as well. Student. The Origin Flame Glacier Plain isn't part of the Myriad Kingdoms Alliance. They're a faction of their own. I went through all the trouble to be able to get two slots for us. Just two slots. We can't have one more. Nope. Even the two slots will need to pass the trial to enter. If that place is that easy to negotiate with, then the Master Teacher Pavilion will have plenty of prodigies already, and we wouldn't have to get such low rankings in the past tournaments. Then, how about this? You can give my slot to my student. She will be the one going to Inyang Lake. I'm not going. Teacher. You can't be serious. You're the biggest hope that Myriad Kingdoms Alliance ever had for this Master Teacher Tournament. How can you just give up like that? I'm still waiting for you to break the record. If you're not going to Inyang Lake, then wouldn't that mean all the effort that I've done so far would be all for nothing? My student must go. How about this? If the other party is really that stubborn, I can try negotiating with them. That's. If they're really that easy to deal with, it wouldn't be this complicated. The Inyang Lake has an entry restriction every time they open up. They couldn't even make arrangements for their own people not to mention outsiders. Forget it, you can bring her along for now. If it doesn't work out, I will try talking to them, then we'll decide from there. By the way, where's Ruahuan? About that, it's a pretty long story. That's because. Master Teacher Jun, it seems like he got quite depressed, causing him to be traumatized. So he won't be able to participate in the tournament for now. As for the others, they all knew that with the strength they have now, they won't be able to get a good result in the written test, so they have all locked themselves up to cultivate. And I'm the only one left, since the tournament requires two participants. That's. By the way, Master Teacher Zhang, this student of yours, she has quite the unique physique. Pavilion Master, you do have a sharp eye, Xiaoya has a purine body, that's why I wanted her to go to the Inyang Lake to cultivate. Just as I thought. No wonder Master Teacher Zhang insisted on bringing her along, and he's willing to give up his own slot for it. For a student with this talent, it's definitely worth it. A purine body is a genetic gift. If we were to fully activate the physique's potential, her entire physique will be completely flawless, giving her cultivation an extremely huge boost. Alright, that settles everything then. If everything doesn't work, your slot will go to her. Okay. I thought it's about time for me to shine and I will even get a free chance to improve my strength. I guess I'm just dreaming about it. Glacier Plain Court Pavilion Master, about the Origin Flame Glacier Plain that you mentioned before, what exactly is it? The Origin Flame Glacier Plain is the name of an extremely large faction, just like the Apothecary Guild and Blacksmith Guild. The Origin Flame Glacier Plain is the name of a super faction, just like the Alchemy Guild and the Blacksmith Guild. They have control over numerous strong spirit veins and treasured lands. And because of that, even if I'm the pavilion master of a master teacher pavilion, I don't dare to go against them as well, so the most I can do is to propose a fair trade with them. Spirit veins, treasured lands. I can already tell what kind of formidable place this is with just that alone. No wonder they are not willing to give this kind of place to the elites from many other occupations. That's right. Each branch of the Origin Flame Glacier Plain has a court chief of its own, and I'm acquainted with the current court chief here, that's why I managed to get us two slots for the trials. But to be honest, it will be up to you all to see if you will be able to enter this place. Acquainted. Yeah, she had once gotten herself injured, and I was the one that healed her. Do you remember the case study on the person who cultivated the great ancient incursion art, the one whose chest was wounded by searing sword chi? 
But, this place seems to be extremely cold, but also searing hot at the same time, how did they manage to achieve that? I don't know about the specific details either, I only knew that this place was still a volcano a thousand years ago. And the people of the Origin Flame Glacier Plains have turned this place into what it is now after centuries of modification. I even heard that they managed to create a Yin Yang Lake, where the power of Yin and Yang amalgamate with one another, creating a paradoxical combination of purity and turbidity, allowing one's cultivation to increase drastically. It is to be said that as long as you have yet to reach 5 Dan Transcendent, you will be able to gain a lot by cultivating within it. By the way, once we're in, try not to act on your own whim. You will have to listen to my orders, I will try to fight for three slots for us. If things don't go well, we will still have to ensure that both of our slots are secured. Alright. Kongan from the Myriad Kingdom City, here to meet Court Chief Wu as promised. Pavilion Master Kong, the Court Chief is inviting you to head inside. Such lively spiritual essence. This place might have the same concentration of spiritual energy as it is out there. And yet it's unusually lively even if I don't intentionally guide it, it will still seep into our body through our skin and nourish our cultivation, hastening our body's cultivation speed. These young ladies, they are already in the three Dan pinnacle transcendent at such a young age. I guess it will definitely be efficient to cultivate in this palace, even if it doesn't have sufficient spiritual essence with the help of formations, this is still an excellent place for cultivation. The further we head in. The livelier the spiritual essence is, giving me the urge to just sit down and cultivate. No wonder Pavilion Master Kong is willing to pay such a price and spend multiple days flying here. It is definitely worth it. Here's the Yin cultivators and Yang cultivators of the Glacier Plain Court. The cultivation technique here is the purest attribute cultivation technique in this place. As for the Yin Yang Lake, it is being divided into Yang Lake, Yin Lake, and the Amalgamation Lake. Each cultivator will have to cultivate their corresponding techniques that are compatible with them. The court chief is just up ahead, please head inside. The lady up ahead is giving off a dangerous aura, especially her soul that's giving an immense pressure. Could she be, in the consonant spirit realm? Court Chief Wu, it's a pleasure to meet you again. I could say the same. So these are the people that you've chosen to enter the trials for Inyang Lake. But why are there three of them? Well, these three are the most outstanding prodigies among the youngsters, so it's quite difficult for me to choose among them, so I just bring all of them here. I was hoping that you will be able to make an exception to allow all of them to take on the trials, so that they will stand a chance to enter the Inyang Lake. You should know about the rules of the Inyang Lake more than anyone else. Two slots mean two slots, no exceptions. Well, alright then. Would you mind telling us about the trial as well? so that they can make some preparations for it. It's simple, they just have to walk through my room of fire and ice, then they will pass the trial. Room of fire and ice. The room of fire and ice is a special trial that my glacier playing court has, it's just like the heart inquisition crystal, by dripping a drop of blood, you will suffer from the mental torments of fire and ice. If they are able to withstand it and find their way out of it within two hours, they will be considered pass, if they can't make it they will fail the trial. You will have to choose two among the three to take on this trial. No need to choose, do who, you don't have to take the trial. Sure. Hold on. Court Chief Wu, I wonder what is the requirement for the three of us to take on the trials together. Pavilion Master Kong, this is the junior that you've brought to me. I don't recall that a junior is allowed to interrupt the conversations between adults. Master Teacher Zhang, Age isn't what determines one's status, just because I'm young doesn't mean I have to be a junior. Similarly, an old person could have just simply wasted his own time away. How about this? Court Chief Wu, I'll give you a chance to allow me to give you some guidance for once, and we will trade that for one more slot for the trial. How about that? I told you to not run your mouth. And you're giving her a chance to allow you to give her guidance. Saying something like that to a 5 Dan Transcendent Elite. Are you really not afraid of death? Giving me guidance. And you say you're giving me a chance. That's right, this is the only chance so you should appreciate it, or else there won't be another chance like this for you. Xiaoya, do something about it. Court Chief Wu, just like my teacher mentioned, this is a great opportunity for you. 
You shouldn't miss this chance or you'll definitely regret it in the future. What the? Lady, I asked you to stop your teacher from all the nonsense that he's spouting. Why are you acting all serious? Advising court chief Wu about it. Aren't you a little too confident in your teacher? A two Dan transcendent master teacher saying something like this to a five Dan transcendent elite, and there's not the slightest shyness or shame in it. Where did your confidence even come from? You. Pavilion Master Khan, I will need you to take them away. My Glacier Plain Court does not welcome ignorant people like these. Court Chief Wu, please don't misunderstand. Master Teacher Zhang is definitely not an arrogant person. Send them out. This way please. Court Chief Wu. That's enough. Pavilion Master Khan. Why do we have to care about this person that we don't even know if she's a man or a woman? If she wants us to leave, we might as well just do so. Don't even know if she's a man or a woman. Do you have to insult her like that just because she doesn't agree with you? This is bad. He just insulted her. I'm afraid court chief Wu is going to be really mad this time. What? Did you just say? Do you not hear what I said just now? Do you really need me to spell everything out? If I'm not wrong, some parts of yours are growing hair rapidly, and they're quite long as well, right? Brother, are you doing it on purpose? Don't you feel shameful from insulting her gender? And now you're even mentioning her hair. What does her hair have anything to do with you? Saying that out loud in front of everyone. Are you a gangster or what? Also, how can you even tell that? Is that how you are supposed to use your keen perception as a master teacher? I guess I can't stop master teacher Zhang already. I will have to hold court chief Wu back. Court chief Wu, please calm down. If you were to make a move on this master teacher, how did you know? Insulting her gender, and even saying that some of her parts have long hair, not only she isn't mad about it, she even admitted to it. Did I hear something wrong, or is court chief Wu going crazy? It's simple, despite the overwhelming yin attribute in your body, the majority of your acupoints are exuding yang energy, your gestures might be of a demure maiden, but your words are full of might. If I'm not mistaken, you must be suffering from the conflict between yin and yang in your body, and you are not able to maintain the balance between them, that's why you're growing beards like a man, and your pores are getting thicker which makes your hair grow longer. That's. I indeed am suffering from the conflict between yin and yang in my body and wasn't able to maintain the balance, especially for the past two years, I'm starting to grow beards like a man. If I don't shave them daily and maintain my dignity at all times. Someone would have known about it already and I would have died from embarrassment. After being injured by Searing Sword Chi, you thought that as a woman, you won't be able to bring out the full power of the great ancient incursion art, so you decided to switch focus and cultivate a yin attribute technique instead. However, you didn't manage Tiamicron maintain the balance of both powers in your body, which ended up like this. If you didn't clear it on time, you might still be able to suppress it by force without anyone noticing for now but it might be difficult for you to do the same three years later. May I ask, are there any solutions for it? There is indeed a solution. The most direct approach is to dissipate your cultivation and exhaust your power, so that you will revert back to a normal human. Revert back to a normal human. That won't work. I'm already over 100 years old. If I were to dissipate my cultivation, I would definitely die of old age immediately. Even though I'm able to tell her symptoms with the eye of insight, without the help of the Library of Heaven's Path to analyze the root cause, it will be difficult for me to find a solution for it. How about this? You can throw a few punches for me then I will find a solution for you. If this man is able to solve my issues, forget about one trial slot, I'm willing to pay a much greater price just for it. Alright, no matter if Master Teacher Zhang is able to solve my issues, I will still grant you three slots for the trial. That's. It. The court chief Wu that was just about to go all out to kill master teacher Zhang. All her anger just disappeared after a few words, and she even agreed to grant us the slots. That's too impressive. My situation. Is there any way to solve it? About that. There's a way. What do you think about our pavilion master Kong here? What? I want you to cure me. Why are you asking me about pavilion master Kong? I've known Pavilion Master Kong for years, so I know him quite well. That just makes things easier. Our Pavilion Master is a righteous and honest person. On top of that, 
He's a master teacher, which means he has a bright future ahead of him. And the most important part is, he's good looking as well. Pavilion Master Kong is indeed a good man, he's willing to pay a huge price in exchange for the slots to enter Inyang Lake. But, what does this have anything to do with getting rid of the conflict of energy in me? Of course it does. How about, the two of you get married? Married? I'm just asking him to cure me, why did he mention marriage? How can marrying this pavilion Master Kong help me? Aren't you supposed to cure her, how did you end up being a cupid already? That's right, as a woman, there's nothing wrong with you cultivating a forceful technique. What's wrong is you giving up halfway and switch to a complete opposite technique, which caused the conflict of yin and yang within your body, hence causing your body to end up this way. So if you want to get rid of it completely, you just have to marry someone with the same level of strength as you, who has also mastered the control on true essence and power. That way it will help to maintain the balance. And I've briefly calculated it. Pavilion Master Kong is a 4 Dan Pinnacle Transcendent, which means that he's almost into 5 Dan. A 4 Star Pinnacle Master Teacher, I'm afraid not even you can compete against him when it comes to the understanding of cultivation. Which is why, he's the most suitable person for this. If the both of you get together, within 3 to 6 months, the conflict of energy within you will be neutralized completely allowing you to recover your full strength. That's. Ever since I've started cultivating, I haven't been interested in men, even if it's to cure my physical condition, but to get married right away. That's. Master Teacher Zhang, is there no other way to solve this issue? This. I don't agree to this. Even though I have never gotten married before, but. For me to marry a bearded beauty, there's no way I can do something like that. Some other method, of course there is. It's just that this is the easiest way. If there's any other method, as long as I can help with it, I will definitely do it. Pavilion Master Kong, what do you mean by that? Do you think that I don't deserve you, or are there some other reasons? Why did you just reject it right away? Court Chief Wu, you're overthinking it, that's not what I meant, it's just that. I don't deserve someone like you, it's my problem. At least you're aware of it yourself. If both of you are not into each other, there's still one more method. Which is to find an elite with a purine body that is about the same cultivation as you. Then we'll make use of that person's blood to neutralize the remaining yang energy in your body. We don't need much of it, just one drop will do. Purine body. The Origin Flame Glacier Plane has been training people to cultivate yin and yang attribute techniques at a very young age, and we even built the yin yang lake. All of it is just to nurture a cultivator with a pure yang or purine body. Unfortunately, it has never been successful. About that, it's impossible. Why don't, Pavilion Master Kong and I just got married. No need to marry me. Isn't there someone with a purine body here? There is. Where are you supposed to find one? There's only one in every thousand years. This type of body is extremely rare. How are we going to get someone like that? Master Teacher Zhang's student, Zhao Ya, has a purine body and it has already been activated up to 20%. You, have a purine body. That's right, she has one. Master Teacher Zhang, if a drop of blood from a purine body will solve this, then why did you want us to get married? Well, Zhao Ya is my student, so I have the responsibility to keep her safe from any harm, that's why I sacrificed you instead. Also, it's a good thing to find a wife for you, and you're still being this ungrateful. You're using me to protect your students. And I should be grateful for that. Get lost. Go and try to marry a bearded lady yourself. Do you really, have a purine body? Yes. It is. It really is. The people of the Origin Flame Glacier Plain are saved. Miss Xiaoya, you, please head back to the headquarters with me. As long as you're willing to, we will give you the best cultivation method there is. We will activate 100% of your purine body in the shortest time possible, allowing you to ascend to become the strongest cultivator across the continent. No need, I want to be with my teacher. Teacher. Master Teacher Zhang, is it possible, that the Origin Flame Glacier Plain borrows your student? We really need an elite with a purine body. Borrow. My student is a human, she has her own intelligence and the right to make her own decision, if she's willing to go. I will support her, but if she doesn't, no one will be able to force her to do so. 
I, that's not what I meant. I hope that you will not misunderstand us. This, involved the secret of the Origin Flame Glacier Plane, so I don't have the authority to tell you everything. How about this, since you're going to enter Inyang Lake already, once you're all out of it, no matter if the headquarters agree to this, I will definitely give you an answer. All right. The door up ahead is the entrance to the Room of Fire and Ice. You will have to pass the trial to be able to enter the Inyang Lake. The reason why we're doing this is because of the inconsistency in the Inyang Lake. The amalgamation between Yin and Yang will cause the person entering it to suffer from great pain. If you can't even handle the Room of Fire and Ice, you will either be burned to ashes by the Yang energy, or to be frozen into a popsicle by the Yin energy. It's just like taking penicillin. We will have to give it a test before using it. If we don't go through the trial beforehand, we might die due to the harsh conditions that our body couldn't take. Who will be the one going in first? Then. Why don't I go first? All right then. Thanks a lot. Under normal circumstances, we can't let Master Teacher Zhang be the first one to take the trials. Two hours later. Am I considered past? Even though his mental fortitude has been breached, he's still able to walk out of it within two hours, so he's considered to be good enough to enter Inyang Lake. Didn't Court Chief Wu mention that the Room of Fire and Ice is a test on mental resilience? Why did it? The Room of Fire and Ice is indeed a test on mental resilience, but if the person's mental fortitude has been breached, that person's physical body will suffer injuries as well. But being able to walk out of that place under those conditions proves that he must possess strong endurance. Now, Master Teacher Zhang, will you be next, or Xiaoya? Teacher, let me do it. All right, be careful. An hour later, she passed. This is great. As expected from Master Teacher Zhang's student, she came out much earlier than Du Hu. Teacher, good work. I'll head in and take a look now. Pavilion Master, how long do you think, Master Teacher Zhang will need to walk out from that place? You're almost two hours, Xiaoya around an hour, as for Master Teacher Zhang, I guess he will need less than 15 minutes. 15 minutes. I would say he will only need 5 minutes. 5 minutes. Court Chief Wu doesn't even know how impressive this Master Teacher Zhang is. To be honest, I'm still wondering if 5 minutes is a little too long for him. Is he really that strong? That's right, let's just wait and watch. 5 minutes. 10 minutes. 15 minutes. 30 minutes. 50 minutes. 80 minutes. It's been 2 hours already. Teacher. This, why isn't anything happening in there? Time's up, and he hasn't come out. Seems like he didn't pass the trial. He didn't pass. Master Teacher Zhang was like a maniac when he was at the Master Teacher Pavilion. But why is he this weak when he's here? What exactly happened in there? Two hours ago. What is going on with this suffocating heat? I'll have to drive the heaven's path true essence to fight off the heat for now. The door, it disappeared. I just came in and the door just disappeared like that. Could it be that this room of fire and ice is actually a high level formation? I can only leave this place by walking through the entire passageway. The heat is starting to become flames. If I can't avoid it, then I'll just try and walk through it. This is. No wonder Duhu ended up like that. I guess he was devoured by the flaming and chilling aura in here. It's true that a transcendent elite has the ability to fight off the power of nature, but, to fight against sudden extreme change in temperature, they won't be able to endure it and end up collapsing. Flames and icicles. Something's not right, not even a four-star pinnacle formation can do something like that. Also, there's not the slightest change in spiritual essence when I came in. If this is a formation, I can definitely sense it. Let's see what is exactly going on here. Eye of Insight. So this is actually a trial on our mental fortitude instead of our physical body. My soul and consciousness has been dragged into this illusion. This is not a formation, and yet it is able to have this effect. The Glacier Plain Palace sure is something else. There must be something here that is able to affect our mental fortitude, and also able to maintain the shift of temperature in this room at the same time to create such a realistic illusion. Flaws 
I see. The Origin Flame Glacier Plane. With the combination of Origin Flame and Glacier Plane, that's why it's able to create such a bizarre phenomenon. Based on the direction, this should be the place. Time to head down and take a look. Could it be that this is Inyang Lake? But, if that's the case, this is just too small. I guess it can only fit one person, it will be a little too cramped if two people were to go in. Let's see what's going on here. Origin Flame Glacier Plain Seed Water It was created by the members of the Origin Flame Glacier Plain by fusing the Origin Flames created by sealing the earth veins with the unique material Glacier Plain. It is an extremely rare material. Flaw 1. It requires specialists to maintain it, or it will be damaged very easily. It really isn't Inyang Lake. If Inyang Lake was only this big, the Glacier Plain Palace wouldn't have been this famous already. Pavilion Master Kong mentioned that this place used to be a volcano, and then it was turned into a land of ice. I guess this is the. But if this thing is able to create an illusion, then it should be effective against souls. What if? What will happen if I draw my soul out and enter into it? Let me give it a try. This feels great. The Heaven's Path Soul Art has made his soul exceptionally resilient, fearing neither Yin or Yang, which allows me to devour such a strong power. If it was any other soul oracles, I'm afraid they would have been boiled up by the heat from the water before entering it. If this soul can absorb such a strong power, then I will have to absorb more of it. My soul oracle cultivation has reached for Dan Pinnacle Transcendent. Alright, time to head back. What is going on? My soul actually turned this huge after leveling up. Don't tell me that I won't be able to get back into my body. I'm back. I guess I will have to synchronize the cultivation of my soul and my physical body from now on. Shit, I forgot about the time. It's almost two hours already, time to head back out. Master Teacher Zhang, are you alright? I'm fine. Then you're. If you're fine, why didn't you come out earlier? Now it's great, it's been over two hours already, you've just lost your qualification to enter Inyang Lake. What is going on? Du Hu and Xiaoya might have walked out from the room within the given time, but both of them got beaten up pretty badly, this master teacher Zhang didn't even suffer from a single injury, and his clothes still look brand new. The yin and yang energy in the room is quite good, so I did a little of my cultivation there. And I was so into it that I forgot about the time. He's, cultivating in a place like the room of fire and ice. As expected from the teacher. Others just think about surviving after entering it, and this guy just sees it as a great place for cultivation and forgot about the time. The room of fire and ice has a special mechanism that makes people be dragged into an illusion once entered, how did you manage to cultivate in there? Just pure luck. So, did I pass? You're only considered pass if you walk out of the room of fire and ice within two hours, and you. Even if it's because you were cultivating in there and forgot about the time, you still left the room after two hours, so you failed. Failed. All right then. Hold on. I'm willing to give my slot to my teacher. Xiaoya, actually, the Inyang Lake isn't that effective on me, but as for you, since you have a purine body, if you have the chance to cultivate in there, you will definitely be able to grow and improve yourself drastically. So you don't have to give your slot to me. But, teacher. What is it? Are you not going to listen to what I'm saying right now? No buts, if you're going to listen to me, just follow Court Chief Wu to Inyang Lake and focus on your cultivation, make use of the opportunity to fully activate your body's potential. Court Chief Wu, since I'm not qualified to go to Inyang Lake, you can bring Xiaoya and Sir Duhu over. I'll just wait here with Pavilion Master Kong. If that's the case, both of you, please follow me. Master Teacher Zhang, this opportunity, it's such a waste. It's nothing much actually. Since there's rules in the Glacier Plain Palace, I did fail the trial, so there's nothing to fret about. If Pavilion Master Kong really wants my cultivation to improve, why not just go and find more intermediate spiritual stones for me, I can, trade you with equivalent items for it. Intermediate spiritual stones. I do have a few of those, if it's useful to you, I can just give them to you. Give me. As long as you can get a good ranking in the Master Teacher Tournament. I can give you all five of them that I had. 
No need, Pavilion Master Kong, don't worry, I won't take your spiritual stones for free. This aura. It's Court Chief Wu, this is bad. What is Court Chief Wu trying to do, emitting such a strong aura all of a sudden? Xiaoya. Could it be that, she's going to do something to them? Master Teacher Zhang, I'll head over and take a look, you just have to catch up. Master Teacher Zhang. I'm a four Dan Pinnacle Transcendent, yet my eyes couldn't even catch up to Master Teacher Zhang's movements. Is he really a two Dan Transcendent? Not even a five Dan will have this kind of speed. Could it be that he's not a two Dan Transcendent? Su Fan and Ling Hung Yu, they must be hiding something from me, I guess, Master Teacher Zhang's origin must be something else. I will have to ask them about it once we get back. Master Teacher Zhang, wait. Could it be that, this is Inyang Lake? That's not right, I've heard that the Inyang Lake is a pool of water with a clear separation of Yin and Yang, with searing hot water at one end and freezing cold at the other, and yet the one right before us, the spiritual essence might be sufficient, but it doesn't carry such attributes. Court Chief Wu, what is going on? Something happened to the Inyang Lake. Repeat to me what you just said. Yes. Just as usual, we're heading over to clear up the seed water. But we found out that the yin and yang energy among the seed water has completely disappeared, and, it's exactly the same as the lake water. The seed water is buried deep within the ground, and the yin and yang energy that it possesses is formed by the earth vein and the icy plains. How can it just disappear like that? How did you guys even take care of it? Court Chief Wu. What's the seed water that you all are mentioning? What is exactly going on? If you're hiding something, why not tell us about it, we might be able to help you to resolve it. This involved the greatest secret of the Glacier Plain Palace, I didn't plan on telling you anything about it in the first place. But, in this current situation, if I can't resolve it on my own, I guess I won't be able to hide it much longer. This is the Inyang Lake. You must be wondering why doesn't it possess the searing hot and freezing cold attributes against each other, just like you've heard from the rumors. The spiritual essence within the Inyang Lake was gathered from spiritual stones, and I assume that you can tell that just by looking at it, as for the yin and yang energy within it, it's actually, extracted from seed water. The Glacier Plain Palace used a special method to fuse the searing heat from the earth veins and the freezing chill from the Glacier Plain to form the seed water, it is normally buried deep within the ground. We will only extract the spiritual water from it and pour it into this lake when we're going to use it. That's. I thought it's something simple that we will be able to solve easily, I guess we can't even do anything about it. This is just unfortunate, I thought that the students will be able to improve their cultivation greatly after getting their slots, but I never expected something like this to happen. By the way, Master Teacher Zhang. Master Teacher Zhang, what's going on with you? It's over. What do I do? I messed up again. Am I going to pay for it? But the problem is I don't have money. This shouldn't be my fault, right? There's not a single guard at a place this important. No, it doesn't matter what kind of place it is. I'm still the one that caused this. Forget about it, no matter what, I'll have to admit that I messed things up, then I'll see if there's anything that I can do to make up for it. I... About that, Court Chief Wu, back at the Room of Fire and Ice, didn't I say that, I cultivated a little in the room. Maybe it's because when I was cultivating in there, I kinda overdid it, and I accidentally, absorbed all of the yin and yang energy from your seed water already. Overdid your cultivation. 